In this experiment, we're going to make a cloud in a bottle using things that you're likely to have at home or at school. There are many different ways of making clouds in bottles, but this is the way that we think works best and is most like what goes on in the real atmosphere. You'll need a plastic bottle, the sort that's had a fizzy drink in it is, is best as their strongest, a bike pump, an attachment. We've got an attachment adapted from a rocket kit, but you can also improvise with a Schrader valve from an inner tube, a mountain bike inner tube and a rubber bung, some hot water, some matches, and if you've got one, a thermometer. We're using an infrared thermometer, but if you've got a normal thermometer that's small enough to fit inside the bottle, that'll do as well. Put a centimetre or so of warm water in the bottle and swill it round to wet as much of the inner surface of the bottle as possible. Measure the temperature of the bottle. Pump up the bottle. As you do so, the pressure inside the bottle increases and you should see the temperature of the air inside the bottle increasing. Release the bottle very suddenly. You should see a very faint cloud form. The temperature should drop suddenly as the pressure falls. Now try it again, but this time blow a little smoke into the bottle first. This time, a much better cloud forms because there were cloud condensation nuclei present in the bottle for the water droplets to form on. As the temperature of the air increases, the rate of evaporation increases so there is lots of water vapour in the bottle. When the temperature drops suddenly, the rate of evaporation suddenly drops relative to the rate of condensation. However, when we talk about evaporation and condensation rates, we usually mean from a flat surface. In a very large droplet or flat surface, there are many molecules binding a molecule near the surface, making it relatively hard for it to evaporate and leave the droplet. In a small droplet, there are fewer molecules binding a surface molecule in place, so evaporation is easier. This means that it is virtually impossible for a water droplet to form in a cloud. It evaporates as soon as it starts forming. However, when there is some dirt present, in this case smoke from the match, but in the atmosphere it could be soot, phytoplankton or salt that's been blown up from the sea, water vapour can condense onto the particle and is immediately much bigger and able to survive.